Welcome back Focus Fanatics. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the new feature Conversational Mods uh, available in version 7.4 build 14.2.28 so if you go ahead and go into your Canvas Designer I've got my Conversational Combo set up here and I'm going to show you how we set this up and I'll show you how we set up another one. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is set the menu item itself to conversational mod. So this is a new option. Just go ahead and check that box and then you set the menu item up by the same exact way you would before this option ever existed. So you set up your printer groups, your report groups, your pricing, all that kind of stuff and you set up your modifier canvases just as you would um, if you were not using conversational mods. Okay. So step number one is you check your menu item uh, to use conversational mods. Once you do that, the second thing you need to do is you need to set your canvases to conversational modifier canvases. So if we go and look at what canvases my conversational combo is using, I'm going to go down here to my burger mods, and just like uh, the modifier screens with no commands, there's a new option here for the level called Modifier Conversation. So all you do is for the Modifier Canvases, you check Modifier Conversational, and that's going to change the default format to have this little check viewer in it, and it's going to adjust where the buttons are. So you need to make sure you have that checked on all the canvases that your item is using for modifiers. So step number one, make sure your menu item is checked for conversational mods. And then step number two is make sure all corresponding modifier canvases are set to modifier conversational. And this isn't just on the main menu item. This is also on corresponding modifiers. So for example, on a filet mignon, you might have temperatures right and then you might also have sides so let's say your side baked potato also has its own modifying canvases baked potato mods right so the baked potato mods canvas also needs to be selected as a conversational modifier canvas so if we go and look at that so let's see if we can find our baked potato mods here and this is marked for modifier conversational okay if this was not marked for modifier conversational and not set up properly what would happen is everything would get moved okay <laughs> so you wouldn't be able to see it when you're using the conversational mod so it's really a format adjustment okay so that's set up that's the third thing that you need to set up is going to be the actual commands okay so if we look at our burger mods I have you're going to set up your conversational modifier screen similar to as you would if you were using a modifier screen with no command so you need to create your done button and you need to create your delete button and this is just command done this is just command delete mod and then you need to put your modifier canvases on here so we have mod canvas 1 through 3 you could do 1 through 8 if you wanted to they're only going to show up if they're being used so in this example for my conversational combo these are going to reflect the menu item canvases. So if we go back up here and we look at our conversational combo, we have modifier canvas, mod canvas 1, mod canvas 2, and mod canvas 3 right here. Mod canvas 1, mod canvas 2, mod canvas 3. You can see I'm not using 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, so I don't need them. But if I was using mod canvas 4, I wouldn't be able to see it from my burger mods because I don't have the button here. So you need to make sure you have enough mod canvases here set up to accommodate your menu items. Alright, so we're going to do a done button, we're going to do a delete button, we're going to do our mod canvas buttons. I'd probably do one through five. You could set them this way or you could go 
horizontal horizontally if you'd like um, whatever works for you and then you need to manually put your prep mod buttons on here and you can use the default no sub and extra or you can use prep mod one two and three or you can do a combination so you can go ahead and put whatever you like on this canvas and you can make it uh, nicer looking by using some di some of these different options if you like okay so the cl I know it gets a little bit more difficult to create this but once you have a template that you like you know you can just copy this and then when I'm going to go create my next one Let's say my temperatures. Let me just delete these guys. I'll just go do paste, and now boom, they're all here. So, and maybe I don't want to have no sub extra my prep mods on this screen, so I can just delete them. But I do need to have done. I want to have my three canvases, and I do need to have a delete button. Okay, so that's set up. And then if I was going to create another one, you can see these are the exact same order. So I'm just once I created my template, and I know that I could have cleaned this up a little bit, but it's just for <laughs> training purposes here. Um, but once you create your template, you just copy and paste it and just use them for every single modify or conversational modifier canvas that you're using. And just go ahead and set that up. And that's really all you need to do. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you mess around with it a little bit, you will get the hang of it. But you just need to remember A, Set your menu item to conversational modifiers. Set your mod canvases to modifier conversational. Set any corresponding modifiers, modifying canvases, and by that I mean, you know, my baked potato, those corresponding modifier canvases need to also be set to baked potato, or <laughs> baked potato, to uh, conversational mods and then set up your template and you're good to go and I'll show you real quick how some of this stuff works go ahead and go in and go to my fast food screen and hit my conversational combo you can see that little template that I was talking about here's my kind of guest check so I can go in I can hit small fry I can say oh I want no lettuce so no lettuce and then hey you know what can I make that a medium fry sure go ahead and hit sides hit medium fry what kind of drink would you like small diet coke actually you know what just make that a Dr. Pepper and can I get uh, extra pickles sure no problem just go ahead and hit up there you can use you can use the check viewer here to bounce through or you can use your prep things here it's up to you let's go up here hit extra pickles and when you're done at the point when you're done it's going to go out and calculate your min and maxes so if I didn't reach my minimum and maximum so let's go ahead and do this again and I won't select my french fries if I just go to my drink and I hit small coke and I hit done it's going to tell me hey you you missed something here and then it's going to pop me to that screen which is great so I'm going to say okay fine I got my hidden drink and then I'm going to hit done so it don't don't worry it's still going to make sure that you're entering in all the stuff that you need to it's just going to allow you to do it in whatever order you want to so pretty cool new feature I'll show you how it works with our fillet go ahead and hit fillet and I can ring in my temperature I can ring in my baked potato butter chives cheese and you know what I don't want this rare I want it to be medium rare and I want to change my side to let's go ahead and delete baked potato and make it sauteed vegetables and onion rings and then hit done goes out and calculates my min mods and I am all set to go so hopefully you guys enjoy this new option I think it's going to be a great feature for especially counter service fast casual service you know especially where the customer is ordering as the employee is entering the order into the point of sale so it allows the employee to not have to follow such a, a strict uh, sequence uh, that's conversational modifiers if I uh, hope this feature benefits you and your customers and until next time stay focused